Hello, my name is Gleb Yeliseev, I'm the student of 11th A grade, the RBSM school. I'm, as you can see, in Malta now and I found something interesting for me and I want to tell you about it right now. Uh, so this is the representation of your brain and your brain can be broken into two parts. There is the left half, which is the logical side and there is the, the right half, which is the intuitive. If we had the scale to measure the aptitude of each hemisphere, then we can plot our brain. And for example, this would be somebody who is completely logical. This would be someone who is entirely intuitive. I mean, it can sound weird to think about one thing being in two places at the same time. Although quantum mechanics stated so. And imagine a kid playing at a car stop. He's just a toddler and he kept falling over. So he cannot go over the obstacle. This is a good example unless you're a particle physicist. They play with the small little particles. And what they found is that these particles can penetrate nearly everything, including walls or other solid matters. And they call it the theory of quantum mechanics. One physicist made the first object that you can see on this picture that, as he claims, is in a mechanical quantum superposition. So what we are looking at here is a tiny computer chip. Let's zoom it a little bit. Now we are looking at a little chunk of metal. But let me give an analogy for you to understand. Imagine an elevator. When I'm alone, I do all sorts of weird things like dancing, jumping, or whatever pops into my mind. But then other people join me in the lift and I stop doing this, these things because I don't want to scare them. So these chips, these chips feel the same. So what scientists did as they kicked out all these passengers like oxygen, light and temper temperature and started to watch. Um, when they uh, did this, when they did this, they give uh, a little nudge to chip and what is really fantastic that the same atoms was vibrating and not, not vibrating what, I, what I'm telling you here it's really fantastic because imagine the, that the thing the, this little piece of metal both vibrating and not vibrating at the same time so this is the principle of superposition and imagine that the difference between this small particle quant, called quant and this chunk of metal as this the same as the difference between this chunk of metal and you so if this piece of metal can be in two different places then why not you so i wish you to learn physics and discover how amazing is the world around us